Enoch, Edwin, Oswald, and I. Oh, this is like meat. Meat grinder there. Madness, listen to your heart. You know you are with me. You created me to save the world. I am your friend. Friend my ass. The heart of the machine. Oh, there are buttons. Yeah, buttons, but we can retract. Maybe we have to turn these two green to red. I thought we could just put the cables and that's it. That would be too easy, yeah, just, just pull out the wires and that's it. Yeah, there's nothing to do here though, so let's go at the end of the corridor. And it's going to take some time because I can't run. Mandus, please, I am no more evil than you. We sought the same thing, to save humanity, ridding them of their painful, stupid, pointless lives. Mandus, stop. Think about what you are doing. For your children, Mandus. Do not speak of my children, monster. I did not kill your children, Mandus. You sacrificed them on the temple steps, knowing what the coming century would do to them. Your sons will drown, lungs full of mud and shrapnel, on the banks of the Somme. You wanted to save them from the fire to come. That is the vision we shared. Everything we have built to avert this coming nightmare. You and I are one. We are the same. Our souls are entangled. We deserve to make them free. Uh, so he sacrificed them because he knew the world that would come. So my kids are going to be living on minimum wage, so I have to kill them. <laughs> That's, yeah. I, I don't, yeah, I don't follow the logic, but, yeah, I mean, I follow it, but... Why did you have kids in, this, in the first place, Mandus? You shouldn't have kids in the first place. Processing company. We're going to sacrifice ourselves also. Daddy. I have stood knee deep in mud and bone and filled my lungs with mustard gas. I have seen two brothers fall. I have lain with holy wars and copulated with the autumnal fallout. I have dug trenches for the refugees. I have murdered dissidents where the ground never thaws and starved the masses into faith. A child's shadow burnt into the brickwork. A house of skulls in the jungle. The innocent. The innocent Mandus trod and bled and gassed and starved and beaten and murdered and enslaved. This is your coming century. They will eat the Mandus. They will make pigs of you all. And they will bury their snaps into your ribs. And they will eat your We're going to sacrifice ourselves also. We 
trees and the snow. For your children. Oh, we are sitting on the dentist chair. Are you gonna be calm as them? to push the button yeah let's push it I like pushing buttons I cannot resist so that's the end I guess I lay there and watched the god I had created die. At the end, when we were cold as the stone we had hewn his body from, when the lights were nearly all extinguished, we heard, in the silent distance, the man pig singing to one another. Then, as the last lights were gone, and we lay together in the deep, they drifted away, and all was silent. Such a silence I have never known. And as the dust settled on my open eyes, and we lay together embraced forever, I heard, miles above us, the sounds of the city turning over in its sleep. The church bell ringing out. And in that moment, the new century was born. Yeah, because it was 1899. 1900, the new century. The kid says ghost, I guess, roaming London, <laughs> giving fear. Matus Cole. Achievement unlocked. The heart. Yeah, it was created by the Chinese room. It was a different devs than the Amnesia, than the Amnesia, the Dark Descent. But both of them, they are published by Frictional Games. And what do I have to say? I enjoy my playthrough. At least me, I enjoy my playthrough. Uh, it was good. It was good. It's not as far as the Amnesia, the Dark Descent. I can understand it. Uh, basically, if I'm going to put uh, a number as a grade, uh, as a rating on the Amnesia, the Dark Descent, the first one, I should put like 9 out of 10. On this one, I'm going to give it 7.5 out of 10. Uh, with the amount of reading that we got and I read, me personally, I should have understood more what was going on. Maybe because English is not my native language. I know English. There were many words that I didn't know what they meant, but... I could have get the gist of it. But I didn't get the, the whole story. I got confused. I don't even know who the guy was in the telephone. I mean... With that amount of reading, just maybe I missed that. Maybe I read it and I wasn't concentrated and I missed that. Who was that guy in the telephone? Maybe it was a split personality. I don't know, but they should have made it like a bit more simpler to understand the whole story. Now, in order to understand the whole story, I'm going to go and find a YouTuber that explains the whole story in 10 minutes 
so I can understand it. <laughs> but I enjoyed it. I enjoyed my playthrough. Um, that was my, my, my issue was that I, they should have explained better the story of all that reading I had to do. And also, it didn't have the oil and the matches. Damn. Yeah, I was like crushed when I found out that I couldn't get any oil or matches to use. That my lantern, lantern was like, it had uh, oil for ages. Like, you couldn't refill it. It was just, yeah. And, uh, yeah, as I said, uh, like my disappointment was immeasurable and my day was ruined when I found out there's no oil and no matches in the game. <laughs> but other than that, I give it a 7.5. Great game. Enjoy the playthrough. Uh, dirt cheap. You can buy it like for uh, one and a half dollars. <laughs> I mean, yeah, because it's a 2013 game. And uh, make sure you sub comment and uh, follow my Twitch and YouTube. Uh, and I'm gonna see you in 18 days on 20th of October, where the new Amnesia Rebirth is gonna get released. I'm gonna see you then, 18 days. Of course, I'm gonna stream more horror and sci-fi games in between. <laughs> Thank you very much.